Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the trading session we have uh, today. It's Thursday, 26th of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can say download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so the two major stories overnight. Number one, Mr. T uh, Juncker and Mr. Trump finally agreed to some sort of uh, agreement uh, with regards to uh, uh, zero subsidies, zero tariffs, and also the Europeans have agreed, uh, it seemed like they've caved in there, certainly have agreed to buy more gas, uh, LPG, and also uh, uh, more soybeans, which obviously does uh, take into account China's reduction there in terms of soybeans, and therefore that helps Mr. Trump in, in the trade war to a large extent. Okay, so again, that certainly is helping European equities this morning, certainly uh, bullish bias there. Okay, now in terms of uh, the bearish argument is uh, Facebook. Facebook certainly lower, uh, down I think 24% at one time. So again, the so-called scandals that it's involved in, etc., the mistakes that it's made, certainly has, has cost it quite substantially. The Nikkei was down overnight, Shanghai down 0.7%, so take that into consideration too. Okay, so that's basically the status quo in terms of uh, the markets overnight. In terms of European markets this morning or today, Basically, we've uh, got uh, German Consumer Confidence Weaker, French Consumer Confidence Weaker as well. Uh, European ECB Day, obviously, uh, Mr. Draghi is on top at 11.45, so we'll see exactly how the markets react there. In terms of the technical picture then, so the German DAX obviously gaps high in the back of that potential news, uh, bullish news regarding a, a de-escalation really in that trade war with Europe and US, and that certainly is positive for equities. Uh, we do have an unfilled gap above. Uh, I, I am expecting that to close around the 12.835 zone. Let's see if we can target that or even potentially hit that gap above at 13,000. So bear that in mind in terms of the French, or should we say German DAX. In terms of the French CAC, again, uh, one would expect a gap higher, and that's exactly what you see in the 10-minute chart, 60-minute chart breaking higher. Now, we are looking to target that gap at 5,500. That certainly looks like it's inevitable. Okay, so uh, watch out for that gap there on the French CAC above. Daily chart or retrace up to Fib 61. Now we shouldn't be broken past that Fib 61% resistance. Now, again, like I said, looking to potentially close that gap at 5500, which coincides with that gap fill at uh, the uh, key resistance there. Or gap fill at 5500. So watch out for that potential level too. Okay, moving on to the FTSE 100 then. FTSE 100 certainly has been the weakest link really out of all the indices uh, lately. Okay, so we're consolidating here. Either it's a bear flag or it's a it's a short squeeze, we'll certainly find out oh, that uh, bear flag. Uh, as you can see on the 60 minute chart, certainly remains weak, hitting that pivot low at 7645, uh, hitting a pivot high of 7685. So, certainly not also going anywhere at present. Okay, certainly hasn't benefited from the bullish news flow that we've seen uh, at present with regards to Europe. We did have a pivot high of 7684, and obviously, we retraced quite sharply ever since. You are looking at resistance at 7670 and 7680 at the moment. I was expecting gap fill at 7710. That certainly hasn't transpired either, so that certainly doesn't bode well. Okay, so that's basically where we uh, where we stand in terms of the uh, FTSE itself. Okay, so it's a tug of war with the uh, bullish bias, obviously post um, Mr. Trump and Juncker, and obviously bearish bias with regards to Facebook. Okay. And we've got the uncertainty regarding Mr. The, the ECB meeting. Let's see what Mr. Draghi has to say there. And that will certainly be dictate the next direction of the uh, equity market as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of European indices. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. And be sure to uh, download the latest app and take advantage of that bonus as well. Goodbye.